standing in the way of Kimball's attempt at a three-peat was Rosenberg Terry, making their first trip to state. Terry is led by six foot seven man child Derek Griffin, who is heading to Miami to play football and hopefully basketball as well. This game started at a snail's pace with both teams trying to find their rhythm. Trent Brinkley's drive and bank shot over Griffin was the game's first field goal after four minutes of play. Griffin would wake the crowd up by slamming home this alley-oop pass as he was the only offense for the Rangers in the first quarter. Frazier would answer back with this trifecta and when Brinkley's steal led to a Gabe Lilly basket, the Knights had a 14-7 lead after a quarter. Second quarter, Frazier with the steal and then he dribbles right to the three-point line, stops and pops from long distance. Kimball took a 28-20 lead into halftime as Frazier had 15 first half points. The Knights got into foul trouble early in the third and that ignited a Terry comeback. Nice ball movement here to Eugene Wright for the basket and one. Kimball now only led by four. Then Griffin and Frazier would try to one-up each other. First, Griffin with one of his 14 rebounds scores on the putback. On the other end, Frazier shakes down his defender at the top of the key and drives in for the layup over Griffin. Back the other way, Griffin with the reverse layup to put the Rangers up 35-33. Griffin with 26 points on the night. Fourth quarter, Frazier answers back with this jumper over right. Kimball up 41-39 and Frazier finished with 24 points. The Knights thought they had completely taken over the momentum when Lilly came up with this steal and got it to Xavion Turnage for the basket. 47-42 Kimball with just under four to play. But the Knights would not score again. And when Dimitri Amerson scored and was fouled, the Rangers took a 49-47 lead. They would go on to win their first state title with the 55-47 win. The tired Knights ran out of gas in the fourth and their shot at a three-peat was over. Still, Kimball coach Snoop Johnson gave credit to Terry's all-around efforts. They showed everybody that was in attendance that why they was here. That's what, that's what happened. They showed that they were still in the, in the tournament because they had a lot of heart and they was gonna do it together. I figured like, I had to step up because like, it seemed like we was like getting a little frustrated because we had to find out where Keith was. So I feel like if I step up, then everybody else, we will step up as a team.